RFID is widely used for track and trace applications and SIC offers a wide portfolio of RFID products that can help you track and trace your products on the plant floor. They can help you to add unique identifiers on the go so that you can do verification checks. Also, RFID technology is quite robust, which means environmental disturbances aren't a problem, especially ambient light. Why? Because RFID works on electromagnetic fields, which means you do not require line of sight. Hi, this is TJ Singh, the SIG product specialist at ENM in Sun California. In this video, I will talk to you about the SIG RFH630, which is a SIG RFID reader. And this works on high frequency band, which means you get a bunch of benefits. Firstly, the read ranges can go almost to 40 millimeters. Additionally, you can add external antennas to get more coverage. You have powerful microprocessor, which allows you to execute configurable logic on the go. Also, the embedded field bus protocols allow you to connect different industrial field buses. And with the flexible trigger control, you can control the read and write. Lastly, configuring this device is a piece of cake with the free software called SOPAS ET. So this is the RFH630 unit, how it looks like. This is the reader on the front and you have three interfaces. You got a male standard M12 17 pin connection for your power and digital IO. Then you got a female M12 four pin decoded for your RJ45 cables. And you also got the TNC plug for your coaxial cables to connect external antennas. This is an accessory, which is an external antenna that you can simply connect to your RFH630 and improve its coverage and range. Let's jump in to a quick software demo so I can show you how easy it is to set up this device. Once you search for the device after connecting it to your laptop, you get on this page, double click on the device IP and it comes in the new project window. Once it's loaded, you can double click on it and you will have the configuration window pop up. The very first thing what you see is quick start and this is where you can observe if all the settings that you configured the device to work for you or not. In my case, I'm bringing a RFID tag in front of the reader and taking it out and you can see it sees it every time. Next thing is transponder access and this is where you can make changes on the red tag. And also on the left side, this is the navigation uh, platform and it is top down view. So you simply follow along. The next thing is parameters. This is where you can literally control three different things. Your reading configuration. You can simply go here, improve your reading and performance. Maybe if you want to add an external antenna, you can switch from internal to external. You can do object trigger control where you can add another one. It can be the time controlled as well as track control depending on your application. Next thing that you get is data processing. This is where you control exactly what you want to read on the tags and what you want to ignore, ignore on them. So you can control how long your uh, output is going to be for. You can do evaluation conditions. This is where you can create conditions for a good and bad read. In this case, uh, you can select C condition for a good read right now criterion is use minimum maximum number of codes and these are different conditions that are already created for you. In our case, you can create new conditions by simply going on here and adding more fields to your uh, uh, condition more um, identifiers if you're something that you're exactly looking for like uh, what's your exact unique identifier going to be and add that in your configuration you can even control your output format in data processing and this is what the string 
will be outputting to your higher end controller like in my case i can add uh, more like uh, general code stuff like how much was the length of that code uh, what was a specific uh, antenna id on that and so and and so on next thing is what you get next thing what you get is network interface and this is where you can control the output protocol or if you're connecting to a field gets if or if you're connecting to a field bus gateway uh, you can even do digital outputs for good or bad read if you want uh, after parameters you do have service this this is where you can see if the device is functioning nicely or if there's any status issues you can see it here uh, and on the analysis tab you can literally see uh, how each event is triggered by a read and a write and this is pretty simple quick overview of what you get on the software side thank you for watching this video if you have any questions feel free to connect to me on the email added on the screen thanks